Hey guys, this is what I'm wearing today. This is a shirt that I had when I was a good bit bigger. And I know it's too big, but I don't care. It's comfortable. And I like a shirt that does this on the shoulders anyway. So, who cares? Hey guys, Clay and I are running to Walmart. Um, um, we're going to pick up play some lunch while we're out. I'm going to have an Atkins meal when I get home because I've been doing excellent on my diet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Clay, what you been up to? Nothing. Nothing. Guys, I know this is not on a low-carb diet, but they had the fried green tomato lays. So, we got the bagel and cream cheese, and I'm not sure what that one is. We're going to do us a lays save us a flavor or whatever it's called video y'all look at this new camera uh at the checkout at the self checkout in walmart isn't that cool they got one of these things too walmart's getting up to them hey guys um it is monday and i am running to hobby lobby and I don't know where else, but I know I'm going to Hobby Lobby. I need to pick up some um, cake supplies. I have some cakes coming up. Uh, I have three cakes coming up, one a week for the next three weeks. And um, I just need to pick up a couple of things for those. But it's, you can't get it at Walmart. And Lord knows I'm at Walmart all the time. So I'm going to run in town. Um, I'm going to run into town. Look at our new Michaels. It is so pretty and I love the store. It's going to be like an attic going in here. I want to find the section that has the Martha Stewart stuff because a lot of the time she has some good uh, stuff that I can use in my cake stuff. This is some good stuff too. You can use these molds. It's from the Mod Podge stuff. You can use those molds uh, for cake and too. Y'all, I so don't need to be going in this store when uh, I'm trying not to spend money. I've got to get Charlie finished, and I've also got to register her, register her to get her on the road. License and registration and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm trying not to spend money. But it's Michael's. Who can go in there and not spend money? But, uh... I know they give you this 40% off coupon. This is for people that don't know you can get it online. Uh, I never go in there without their coupon thing already pulled up because I know I'm going to use that coupon. And I don't care how much it costs or how little it costs, I'm going to use the coupon. I got, they had all of their uh, cake boards um, on for 50% off. So I picked up uh, some cake boards. Uh, I needed some lollipop sticks so I picked that up I needed some of these trays so I picked that up I picked up some more pearl dust I ordered some for the cake coming up but just in case uh, I wanted to have some more on hand just in case I ordered a different kind online now this has always under my impression been non-toxic not edible which there's a difference i mean it, they're saying when it's non-toxic it won't kill you if you eat it but it's not recommended that you eat but i read on the back of this one in the store today and it said uh, that you could put it on edible stuff so it's crazy i don't know and they also had get three ribbons you could buy one for three dollars or three for five dollars so you know i bought three for five dollars why spend three dollars when you can spend five no, not really. Look, they had these guys. I just posted on my Instagram my, my purse charms, bag bling, whatever you want to call it. And it's rose gold, just like my purse. Y'all, I had to have it. It was 50% off. But let me tell you, y'all, I picked up this right here. I'm not lying. About five times, put it back, went back and got it, put it back, went back and got it. It was $8 for these cutters. Now, I only need this teeny little little one right there I don't need all the rest of them uh, and I didn't want to give eight dollars for that one cutter and I thought I'll order it online but what if I don't find you know the one I want online and 
and there's also a little circle in here. I mean, I don't need it, but I could use it. But, um, so anyway, I pulled up my 40, since everything else, like literally everything else I bought, I take that back. These two things weren't on sale. These were regular price, but everything else was on sale. So I didn't use it. This lady trying to act like she's hurting. That's some, that's some pretending. I'm not going to show her because I don't, I don't, I'm not that way, but that was some pretending if I ever saw it. But anyway, I when y'all, I used my 40% off coupon on these $8 cutters. I, I gave $4 for this little cutter. Now, I want it to be bigger than that because I've got a Minecraft cake coming up, y'all. I won't cut squares till I go blind. It's, it's going to be crazy. And anyway, I'm probably still going to try to order one online. So, that was what I went in there and bought that I didn't need to be buying. But it is pretty much. No, it's not. I was going to say, it's mostly cake supplies. Um, it is all. One thing wasn't a cake supply. Yeah. That's not really spending money if you didn't spend money on yourself, right? It was on cake supplies. Hmm. Y'all, I just stopped in this convenience store to get some gas. I walk in. As I walk in, I see a $20 bill dropped on the floor right in front of the uh, cash register counter, you know. So I bent down and picked it up and I said, uh, someone has dropped uh, some money here. And there's a man standing there and he patted his, I guess he was feeling for his wallet or something. And when he patted his pocket and, and shook his head, no, I turned around to the uh, cashier ladies. There's two of them. And one was real young, <coughs> excuse me, looking like she was learning. And then the other one was about my age. Now keep in mind, she's also eating a bag of chips while this is all happening. So I turn around after the man says that it's not his, I turn around to the cashier ladies and I said, somebody has dropped this 20, is it y'all's? The older lady snatches the, let me calm down. Let me get, the... I'm annoyed right now, so I'm probably gonna cuss like a crazy woman, but she snatches that damn $20 bill out of my hand so fast, it is unreal. Never once looking up at me, nothing. And I just laughed and said, oh, so it's yours today, huh? Now, I didn't say that in a, in a sarcastic way. I didn't care who had the $20 bill. I would like whoever lost it to get it back, but it's not mine, so I'm not mad about it, you know? It, anyway, she never looked at me, not once. She, after she snatches the $20 bill, I stand there, and I stand there, and I stand there. She's helping this other girl on the cash register. She's teaching her something or whatever. And I just stood there. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I turn my big ass around to leave. As I get to the door, she hollers after me. Uh, you don't need no gas? Uh, I said, I damn sure don't. And I took my happy ass and got in the car. I'm not about to hand her some more money. She just, that ran me so fucking hot. Why be so rude? Why? I, I was extremely nice. And I handed you a free $20 bill. The least you could do is put your damn chips down and say, can I help you? Do you need some gas? Uh, what the hell do you need? You could have said something. Never said a word until I was almost out the door. Y'all, that shit pisses me off so bad. Oh my God. Rudeness. Y'all, I swear to God. Rudeness. That's what'll kill me. My my big old self will have a heart attack because I get mad over stuff like that. That was y'all that made me that ran me hot. That ran me real hot. Y'all, I haven't got my gas yet, but I'm headed there. Clay called and wants me to come and get him. So I'm gonna stop and get some gas. And at least I know where this job site is. So I'm, I'm not I'm not annoyed about that. I'm annoyed about some other stuff. This van ahead of me, y'all. I almost ran into it trying to figure, trying to get close enough to see what the window says. It's a black van with real tinted windows. And in the back window, I think it says, Paddles Young Kids. What is that? I can't read it because it's blue and it's a real tinted window. But I think it says, Paddles Young Kids. I can make out the young kids part, but I'm not sure what that other word is. Why would somebody write that in the window? 
did they did they paddle somebody's kid or somebody's kid got paddled and they wrote it in there about their mama like that's their mama's van and they wrote it in the mama I wish my kids would have had the nerve to write that in one of my windows of course I didn't paddle my kids either they did, I did when they were little bitty but you know after they got up to a certain age I didn't spank my kids anymore I want to know what that says. I want to know why it says that. I'm so nosy. Is that nosy? Yeah. I don't like that. Whipping on kids. I can't imagine somebody whipping on kids to the point somebody felt like they needed to write it in their car window. My friend drives a van like that and I'm like, I know it's not her. I can see the young kids. I don't want to show you their van because I don't want to show their license plate number or nothing. I can't tell if it says saddle up or cuddle up. I believe it says saddle up, young kids. What is that? Oh my gosh. Either way, saddle up, cuddle up. I paddle kids. I don't know what that car window says, but that's jacked up. Uh, I know they have, in our area, they have, because uh, Clay did it when he was little, uh, they have, um, what was it even called? Uh, it's therapy, but you take them out to ride horses. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but maybe it's some, some kind of place like that that has, uh, you know, horse riding lessons for little kids or something. I don't know. That's just weird. If they were trying to advertise it, it looks like they would not write it in there with blue where you can't see it. Because you, I mean, I literally, I still, like, they're right here beside me, and I still don't know what uh, it says. That's crazy. I wouldn't send my kids nowhere that they got some stuff like that wrote in the windows that you can only halfway read it. That's why my kids didn't get molested or nothing, because I didn't trust nobody. I still don't. Nope. I sure don't. I don't automatically think it about somebody, but I don't just blindly trust either. No, I sure don't. I believe everybody could be one, and until you can prove different to me that you're not, mm, I'm not letting my kids be around you. Let me get in here and get some gas so I can go get my baby child. He must be getting on his daddy's nerves, or his daddy's, he's on his daddy's nerves, because that's when they usually want me to come get him off of a job. Would you just come on? We have done our... We I, found, I got Clay. Managed to get him. We went to Walmart. And I didn't stick my hair in a ponytail. So, you know, shit's done got serious. <laughs> <laughs> Clay's griping it, folks. I just messaged my friend and said, Sarah, when does school start? When are these people going to be out of Walmart? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I never. We are going home. I'm going to go check on my Chloe baby. I'm going to sit down for a second and then... Uh, you fed chickens. I already fed the chickens. Okay. We sound like we have a farm, don't we? Check <laughs> on the dogs and the chickens and the cat. <laughs> I do all that first thing in the morning. Um, But yeah, we're... That's all I'm going to do today. Well, no, I take that back. I'm going to uh, go out to the shop and kind of get my thoughts together on my cake uh, for this week. Y'all, I've already gone to Walmart once today, but I forgot to get me some wraps when I went. So, Clay and I just ran back up there. We was only going to get some wraps. And look at all this stuff that jumped in our buggy. It just, it all just jumped in there. No. We got Nicola's sandwich and the clay sandwich. That's what they wanted. Daniel wanted some Spam. That's him and Chloe eating that. I went for the wraps. That's what I went. I forgot. Well, then when I was there, I found these Parm Crisps that have, uh, they have zero, they have zero carbs. Uh, I didn't care for these. I, me and Clay ate one on the way home, and Clay said it tasted like uh, he licked somebody's underarm, but I can't recall ever licking nobody's <laughs> underarm. So to me, it just tasted, it was just way too strong. Uh -oh. Clay got some deodorant. 
And then they had the, the back to school stuff. Uh, they had these for $1.50 and I love like little neat containers. And I got this for $1.50. You know, this is just feeding my notebook addiction. And then they had these too. And I believe these have one carb. Yeah, these have one carb. And I haven't tried those yet. I hope they're good. And then I got a thing of paper plates. But yeah, we only went for rats and all this other mess just jumped in our buggy. Hmm. Huh, Clay? Yeah. <laughs> for my caking uh, friends, you can come to Lowe's and buy one of these boards like this and get them to cut it in half for you. Voila, two cake boards. It's only seven dollars. Normally I give seven dollars for the round one that I buy, but I'm gonna buy this one for seven and get it cut in half and use both pieces on two different cakes. And just like that, presto, I have two boards. Hey guys, it is Wednesday and I have a cake this week. So today is gonna be baking all my cakes so that I can put them in the freezer, let them freeze overnight, and then I'll decorate uh, Thursday and Friday. But uh, I'm in the house instead of my cake shop. I don't know, see I don't call myself cheap, I call this smart. My um, cake shop is not a part of my house, so I don't heat and cool it uh, when I'm not out there, and, and I haven't been out there in a while, so it's hot as you know what out there. So, I'm going to bake in the house. I'm already cool in the house. So, I'm not going to cool the shop too. I'm going to bake in the house today. And then tomorrow and Friday, I'll cool the shop. So, I'm baking in the house today. And let's just get started. For the longest time, I didn't tell that I use, oops, that I use uh, cake mixes. Because there are a lot of cakers out there that will turn their nose up at, at this idea. Um... And I get it. I mean, if you want to make one from scratch, more power to you. Good. I mean, I, I, I don't knock you at all. But in no way do I think I know better than this company who has put millions and millions of dollars into their product. I mean, how much it's flour and sugar and whatever. I mean, just because it's already pre you know pre-measured out into this cake mix, instead of me scooping it out of the flour bin, what's the difference? I, I don't understand the difference. I take, and what it, I think it calls for um, four egg whites, I'll do five. I do more eggs than it's called for. I do double the oil that it's called for. Um, yeah, so it's, well, I use what they call an extended uh, box version. You just, I don't, I don't know why it's called an extender, um, cause you add more eggs and more oil Flour is flour, whether you get it out of a, a, a canister or you get it out of this box. This is pre-measured by a company that has spent millions on their research. I don't even try to think I'm, I can do better than they can. So when you add those other things to it, like when I do the, uh, uh, it's called a butter cake mix. I buy the butter cake mix and instead of oil, you use real butter. Y'all, that cake is the bomb. So yeah, I, I mean, Again, some people turn their noses up at this, but I've done, uh, I, I don't know how many cakes I've done, but I would assume it's around a thousand, and I've never had a complaint about the taste, so it's working for me. It's all in how I do it, too. I never leave my cakes uncovered. Uh, I see people uh, use simple syrup. I kind of don't understand why people would do that. If you will just not leave your cake to stand out and all that moisture to evaporate from it, you won't have to squirt water back in it. It's got its own water. So yeah, just don't don't leave it uncovered. The minute you get it out of the ice box, I oh, have ice box. The minute you get it out of the freezer, cover it up. Save all that moisture. Don't let it evaporate and you won't have a need for simple syrup. I save this off of the eggs. It's a uh, foam and this is what I, uh, use as a former on my flower petals. I have a stack of those. I also use this bottom one, but not as much as I use the top one. And to me, this uh, Pillsbury is the best. I've tried all of them. This is, in my opinion, the very best. 
I've had a little bit of change in plans. I, um, my nephew messaged today and wants to meet me for lunch tomorrow. And so I'm going to get, uh, I'll come out here to do some work tonight so that uh, I could go and uh, meet him for lunch tomorrow and enjoy my visit. And I had to worry about coming back and working on the cake. But I've got that much done so far. I've got uh, the, some arms, some eyeballs. The little, this is the start of the little green man, and I got all the colors made up. I am uh, looking a little bit ragged because it's almost 9 o'clock at night, but I would much rather work tonight and go enjoy my visit with him tomorrow. So, yep, that's what I'm doing right now. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Clay and I are going our nephew called yesterday and wanted to know if we would like to meet him for lunch and we were like what heck yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go meet him for lunch and uh, I got up early this morning and worked on my cake so I could have some free time today to go meet him and then after we get that done Clay and I are gonna run and get my medicine filled and uh, I gotta pick up some more butter and some more sugar I need just a little bit more to finish icing this cake so I'll pick that up and then I'll get back and work on my cake again. And then tomorrow will be nothing but cake, working on the cake. Because it's got to be finished tomorrow. We're going to go have some uh, Greek food for lunch. Y'all, I love Greek food. And, and it's good because when you're on the low carb diet, I mean, you can have it because it's basically chicken or... I only eat the chicken. Other people, like, I think there's a lot of lamb. Um stuff like that uh, and I, and of course rice and but uh, I'm not gonna have any I'm just gonna have me some chicken and I'm not sure what else maybe some vegetables to go with it what do you think you'll want clay um, nothing that's hot nothing they don't have hot I, th that's just not what they oh y'all I wish I could have some of those um, what, bread? I no the, the bread, pickle uh, the stuff in the yeah. pickle the grape leaf. grape leaf I can't remember what it's called it's um, it's rice. I may have to cheat and have one of those today. It's rice and stuff wrapped in a pickled grape leaf. Oh, y'all, that is so good. I can't remember what it's called. Um, we'll figure it out when we get there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we just had lunch. Well, we had lunch and a wonderful conversation. It's we, we met him at 11 and it is now 1.30. So we had quite the time. I love Mr. Blaine. So if you're watching this, Blaine, I love you, buddy. <laughs> it was good, huh, Clay? Yeah. Yeah, so now Clay and I are gonna run and pick up Miss Chloe. Get some medicine. And yeah, we're gonna pick up Miss Chloe. We're gonna get us a drink and pee. And then we're gonna run, uh, get my medicine. And uh, then I've got to get back and work on this cake. Because I'm acting like I don't have a cake to work on, but I got some stuff to do. But I got up early this morning and worked so that I could have some free time today. So anyway, we good, we good. <laughs>